So some platforms like YouTube have allowed 4K 60 FPS streaming. So today we're gonna to show you how you can set this up in XSplit Broadcaster. So setting up a stream in XSplit Broadcaster is easy. All you need to do is go to the resolutions menu and set it to 4K. If you don't see the 4K resolution, you can add it as a resolution. Usually it's one of the presets. If not, you can set it as a custom resolution, then set your frame rate. And then you just need to arrange your sources and then start your broadcast. Now I do wanna say for any sources, these need to be 4K sources. You don't want to take a 1080p source and then upscale it. It won't look good. So make sure that your computer monitor is set to 4K or that you're using a 4K capture and you're capturing a 4K source. So encoding is both resolution and frame rate. And the higher the resolution, the higher the frame rate, the more encoding power you'll need. So if you're going to use X264, you're going to need a pretty beefy CPU. And if you're going to be playing games, you're going to want a two PC streaming setup. So you're gonna need something like an AMD Threadripper on the streaming PC, or you're gonna to wanna to use NVENC. So if you have an NVIDIA GPU, like a 3080 or 3090, these will work as well. And you'll need a lot of bit rate. So YouTube actually recommends 20,000 to 60,000 bit rate. So the more motion you're gonna have, the higher the bit rate you're gonna to need to set. So as you can see, you can stream in 4K, you're just gonna need really good internet and a really awesome computer. But with technologies like AV1 on the horizon for encoding, these are hopefully gonna minimize requirements and make high resolution, high refresh rate encoding more available to more people in the future. We'll see what happens. But if you've ever done a 4K encode or have wanted to, let me know in the comments. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more of these videos and see you next time.